surgery time is approaching us so i haven't decided if i'm going to do one long vlog or do little videos as we go to get my crooked nose straight on the inside i'm starting to notice so much more now um how it's leaning more to the right and they're going to straighten it so i can breathe and get into the studio and start singing again so today they're drawing blood so you'll probably see me in this a lot because um Wednesday, I have to do two more. They're like pre, you know, pre appointments, checking all kind of stuff to make sure I'm good for the surgery next week. And so um, that way it's easy for them to pick prod and do what they need to do. Day two, I just finished my appointment. One of the appointments for today for the uh, surgery that I'm having on Monday septoplasty where they're going to fix the crooked nose on the inside only so it'll be easier for me to breathe because it's getting harder and harder and uh, we are doing <laughs> pre-surgery like check-ins blood work things like that so this is day two I'll keep you guys posted I'll have more photos and videos not sure how much I'll show um, her is kind of disgusting you know after post-surgery so my daughter. Is that Farah? Farah, yes. Attempt here to look over. You're having a septoplasty for nasal obstruction. Are you okay with having students present in the room observing your procedure, ma'am? If not, I can cross it out. That's fine. Okay. And then are you okay with uh, videos, photos, if doctor decides to do any for will, the procedure? Will my, will my face be in it? Well, because you're done my nose. <laughs> Dumb question. <laughs> I was just playing. Um, <laughs> Yes, that's fine. Sure, okay. Signature right here. Take one for the team. <laughs> Appreciate that. For the help of society. <laughs> Go and talk about me on lunch break. <laughs> so you'll be receiving anesthesia. Okay. Anesthesia lingers in your system 24 to 48 hours afterwards. During that time, we ask you to not drive, operate heavy machinery, no alcoholic beverages, as well as avoid sharp knives and tools. Try to avoid eating spicy food. It's going to upset your stomach. Drink a lot of water. Avoid making important legal financial decisions. If you take tra uh, tranquilizer, sleeping pills, just be cautious about that, okay? Okay. All right. The fun part, paying. Paying for it before they can move forward on Monday. All right, we are done with the fun stuff. Paying. And I got my wash that i have to use the night before and in the morning okay. now we wait it's time we celebrate back in time i can't believe you waited for me oh, yeah. the little things you do to me now i can see you were made in heaven Tony Braxton rings right now. All right, here's my cone head. You can't deny it. The nose and the lips. Give it away. This is what they're going to fix. Right here. So if you've ever had surgery before, you know that you cannot wear makeup, chapstick, lotion, deodorant. All I had on was the skin that my mom gave me and the medicated soap I guess you could call it from the shower that morning and I sound super nasally and stuffy now because I've already had the surgery and I'm editing on my downtime and I still have the stints in my nose where'd you go and I'll tell you now my angles will be funny because I do not like recording people without their knowledge say good morning morning everybody <laughs> this is gonna be my partner for the day okay hmm this is where they're gonna perform the surgery <laughs> no, this is no, this is just my room. I'm so sorry. No, this is just my room where I'll get prepared and dressed to put that bad boy on. So they can they just want to see my goodies through that <laughs> And um so then you'll just go to the front and wait and then they'll tell you. Um like you go to the front, like and they'll tell you when I'm done. Like, you just sit there and wait for me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Being wheeled down. I've been waiting for about an hour. So now I'm getting ready to go 
get like prepped vital signs and talk to anesthesia. Uh, yeah, Dr. Thomas doesn't sound familiar. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, my part, Dr. Wynn, my partner's going to be your anesthesiologist. Okay. She'll be here to talk to you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And if I have to pee, can I go? Yeah. I'm not, since I'm not hooked up yet. There's one not too far, and um, I have a nurse get you up. Okay, sweet, okay. thanks. What'd you say when I went? It's just the blanket? But why do I what? I look kind of shorter than normal. I look shorter than normal. Um, but yeah, it's probably the blanket. My son, who has a superpower, which I've mentioned before in another video, did an awesome job. He was originally going to stay at home because it's a lot, but I decided to give him that challenge. And he kept all the family informed. My daughter had to go to work. He listened to what the nurses were saying. He went to where he needed to go. And they text him all the updates and he texts everybody. So he just did a wonderful job and I'm so proud of him. He was nervous. All right. But she, how she explained everything. That's good. Which part calmed you down? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're just going to put little splints in there to hold it and keep it in place. And Are they going to put it in while you sleep? Or? Yes, while I'm asleep. They better put it in while I'm under anesthesia. Yeah. That's not funny. Yeah, so they're just going to go in there and straighten this part up and remove the part that's bent. Yeah, I can see you'll get to see. You can see it. I can see it bent. <laughs> you can see it bent. Oh, now you're trying to be funny. Yeah, it is, and you can feel it too. I can see it crooked. You can see it crooked. It is crooked. I can see it too. I can feel it too. Yeah. So she said I can eat anything, but I'm not I'm gonna eat the stuff I already bought. Oh, my hands in the way. Yeah, buddy. Clean mm -hmm. where I squirt up and yeah. Is it just squirt? Because we need one where you actually like flush it in. Uh uh, I just have the the plastic bottle oh, where you. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And, and it comes out the other side. Yes. Okay. It's yeah. not just like a spray. No. Oh no, not the spray. I have okay. the the. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's and good. then you go to the other right. side and blow. I want you to do like five times a day. Ooh Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll want to get that. You'll feel relief because there'll be a lot of blood and mucus that you want to. Okay. Watch out. Five times. I can do that. Okay. All yeah. right. Because then when you come back to clinic, I'll need to like take a look with the camera. I'll use like a suction to take out any excess mucus okay. and blood. So if you've been rinsing, it'll be much easier. Okay. Sweet. No, that's fine. I have like fifty of the little salt packs. It's that, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you. I got work to do. I got a job, baby. My lips are so dry. I can't put on chapstick. I said my lips are so dry. They won't let me put on any chapstick. I know, right? That's so true. Thank you, son. You're right, Dr. Jaden. I'm serious. My my um can't put on any lotion, so my skin is itchy and dry. What'd you say? Oh, you picked up a thing or two just being here. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Where are you? Are you way over there? Okay. No, I was trying to I was trying to find where you were in the camera. Are you way over there? Okay. The one thing I'm it's like how I'm gonna sound differently when I sing. You know what I'm saying? Like how is it gonna change the resonance? Will it change the resonance? I'm definitely gonna be able to have more breaths instead of running out of breath when I talk and sing. And you did have a pregnancy test this morning, correct? I don't know. I, oh, okay. I mean, I gave them urine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Just wanted to double check. Mm-hmm. If you don't mind us playing us in either nair. What's a nair? Oh, your nostril. Oh, <laughs> nostril. That's what y'all call them? That's what they're really nair called? Nostril. Oh, okay. I guess your nair is technically like the outside. Oh, sweet. So boom and boom on each one? Yeah. Okay. Do I sniff up or just spray it? It's going to be a little startling. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a few accessories before we head back there. So for the rest of the video, I'll put filters on images or videos that, um, you know, use your imagination. And the next footage, this is right when I get home and I did lose control of my bodily functions, just the liquid. And because of the dry heaving and the excessive, you know, vomiting because of the blood and the medication that was on my stomach and you can't eat before surgery so when I would dry heave that pressure to bring it up you know had me on the floor it was pretty rough <laughs> thanks uncle and auntie I made it I made it home 
she made a good point that the crackers will make me have to chew, so she's making soup. My uncle and aunt are gonna be taking care of me. So although I didn't hold down that suit very long, it helped. I felt better immediately because I'm sure it brought up all the other fluids that were on my empty stomach that, you know, shouldn't have been there. So I really did feel better. Ooh. Okay, successful surgery, but it's not pretty. I'm not going to show y'all everything because it's just not pretty. But I can breathe, okay? Mission accomplished. I can breathe. I'm gonna wipe this off from where the IV was. I can breathe through both nostrils so much. You know how you have a brain freeze? It feels like I have a brain freeze, um, like, nonstop because I'm breathing in all air through both nostrils. And I'm not used to doing that, so... Um, yeah, this, what's happening here? <laughs> yeah, this was awful. So I have to keep changing this gauze and try not to sleep mid sentence. But I just wanted to share briefly, and I'm about to be knocked out that the surgery went well, successful, and um, pain level. It's not even really pain anywhere. Of course, nausea's. Can't keep nothing down, all that kind of stuff. And um, this is a constant. Uh, my aunt and my uncle are taking care of me. And my two kids, Jaden and Farah. Um, there's no pain other than it's just stinging. The stinging, just, just where the area is. And so I like that, that the pain is isolated. But my deviated septum has been corrected. And I think, I'm not going to share it now because I'm going to go to bed. But my mom dropping me because she said, the doctor said you could either be born with it or an injury like sports. Someone dropping you or hitting you. So I don't remember anything I've just said. So I'm going to have to go back and watch it and see what we're talking about. So since I have to sleep sitting up, I wanted my daughter to put my hair up in a bun. Trust me, she knows how to do hair. She's a cosmetologist. She just didn't want to pull too hard. But I had fell asleep by the time she came back with the hair tie. Oh, the camera's going. Where is that? You know, take a photo and you check in my hair. Oh, okay. Oh. Girl, I thought this was drool. I'm just going to say, oh, hell no. I wouldn't go to it like that. Oh. I thought you was playing with this already. No, I just think it's part of the box. I hope I got it off the hair, but... It's still some in the back. Sorry, y'all. Y'all wanted to know. Y'all wanted to see. And since I'm changing my gauze, we'll see later the results. We're still swollen. Oh my God. Every time I start, I hear you record. I'm yawning. I'm trying to stop. I didn't get more sleep last night. The first night, because I'm in an unfamiliar place, I'm sleeping in a recliner, and I have to have it pitch black. I think I'm looking in the wrong spot. I'm just tired. It has to be pitch black, and I have to have noise, like a little um, heater, but not the heater part with the fan. I have to have, every night. It has to have that fan noise, and it has to be pitch black. So then, of course, sleeping sitting up, um, my uh, But when I was asleep, I was asleep. You know, I was gone. So for those who ask uh, about the, you know, just the procedure in the process, I already gave the first day, and now the second day. It's just the nasal rinse. That's where it's at. Is five times a day taking that. Um, let me go get it. This. So this, and then these are the um, salt packets. 
and you do this five times a day. You go up one nostril, then you have to blow gently. Go up the other nostril, and you fill this up, you know, with the water, and you warm it up. You got to warm it up for like, I warm it up for like 27 seconds. And then you just do that five times a day. And here's where the work is. When you do that, it doesn't just come out in one sitting. You know what I'm saying? It drips for like the next five, 10 minutes. And you drip, you know, that's why you can't do it really right before you go to bed. And so you have to walk around and it's dripping and it's dripping and dripping. And sometimes when you take this off, you be sitting there chilling, watching TV and it just drips, you know, water just comes out because it's coming out of the head. It's still up there. So that's the work. That's been the work today is that I have an appetite. I can't taste the food, but I do have an appetite. So I've been eating. So um, that's day two. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh, Lord. Yesterday I sneezed eight times. Eight times in a row. <laughs> so um, that comes from the, the rinse, too. I'll, I'll be back. But I'm still grateful and I'm still happy. I have no complaints. You know, there's all these horror stories. But yes, <laughs> yes, I'm all right. Um, I'll be back next month, y'all. When I'm, huh? Yeah, I was about to say I'll just be back next month because, yeah, I shouldn't have did this video after I did my rinse. Now the next move is the humidifier. They say um, she said to sleep with the humidifier so that the moisture, um, you know, moisturizes the nostril or the nair. I learned a word at the hospital. The nair. These are your nairs, guys. And so and it's not just the stuff you used to shave with. It's these are your nares, in case you didn't know that. See now I know. I'm gonna teach y'all. Y'all don't know what nares are, it's ridiculous. But anyways, this is day four, Thursday. And I'm in a bed. And this evening seemed like it was the worst. Um I don't even want to cut the lights on. Like just the, I guess the shakes, I don't know, I just feel miserable, like these stents in my nose or whatever. Um, I don't know, just the constant nasal rinsing like five times a day, which causes nasal drip. And so what it is, is I go to bed and then I wake up and because it's healing, it scabs on the inside, which makes it really hard. So all the fluids, without me saying, you know, all this in there, the red fluid, the natural, you know, mucus, that, you know, all that stuff is like hardened and then I have to rinse it five times a day. And then of course that causes continual nasal drip. And I'm, I don't know if I'm just exhausted or I just cannot wait until Monday. But yeah, Thursday, yesterday was a little, it's like little parts of the day where it's just really, really rough. And like right now, this Thursday <clears throat> evening, all the way, you know, mid afternoon throughout the evening, it's just, oh my God. <laughs> Day four. So I had a septoplasty plus the turbinates. I think that's what they call them. I had two things done. So day four is the same thing every day. She said I would do the nasal rinses. So I do five of these a day. And the only discomfort is, is that it just constantly drips and that's fine. The good thing about it is there's not much of the red fluid that drops, but sometimes I'll just be sitting here and whoop, <laughs> you know, it'll just flow out. And I was supposed to go to my cousin's event tonight. Man, I wanted to go, but I don't have my bandage on now for the sake of the video, but usually I would have the bandage, the white bandage with two pieces of tape and to catch, because you do the rinse, the bottle that I probably already showed you, and the water comes out one nostril, comes out the other nostril, but Sometimes there's water that still gets in there and so it'll just drip and drain and drain and drain. Then you have to change the bandage and then um, still have to deal with the flow and you'll do that five times a day. And then that will usually drip. I mean, just all day. It just drips, you just never, I'm telling you. And so I'll just wear, you know, really um, old clothes cause I'll just be sitting there and just whoop. It'll be a drip, it'll be like a little drizzle or it'll just be just a long flow and so that's the only inconvenience and the crusting and um, this y'all wanted to know okay especially those that are going to have this procedure it's been four days of that and so monday in the afternoon i go get i don't even know if y'all can see them but there are two uh stints there um 
I have to go get those pulled out on Monday. And then there'll still be more healing and more um, nasal rinses. So see what I'm talking about? I have to stop the video real quick. Hold up. And that will happen all day long. So it does make it hard to go somewhere without this white bandage on my face. And it'll seep through the bandage because it's catching it. So it just won't stay white. So you're out in public and it's red and, you know, wet. Unless I wear a, what you call it? What you call things? A mask over it like if I have to take my son to work or something right up the street or something like that. So we're gonna put ice in this bear's butt. Watch if you like. I use this when the kids were little. It's an ice pack, right? And we're gonna restrict some blood vessels here. And it's got Velcro. Oh, okay. Alan Stone gave me some energy to clean up, supposed to be cleaning up at least. That is not what you think it is. That is an aloe vera plant, the inside, the gel. And I just cut a piece and stuck it up my nostrils to help soothe the shave part where it kept scabbing and it felt so good. Oh my God, today's the day I'm getting these since taken out. And ooh, the last two days have been just, I can't explain it. It's not bleeding, I don't have to wear my face thing, but stuffy it is, they say it's normal. It's not a sinus infection because the drainage is clear, but man, I can't smell, taste. It, I could sleep last night. I don't know if I was just excited about getting about or what, but I don't know. These last two days, uh-uh, no ma'am. But like if she had a canceled on me or something, I would have found a way to take them out myself or like go to the emergency room. That's just how uncomfortable they are. So my son was like, um, I asked him, I said, put some music on on the way here so I could be, you know, get my mind off of it. He chose Tupac Changes, and then he put on NWA Express Yourself. Interesting choices. It's time. Yes, about that time. After a week of pain and suffering. <laughs> we went uncomfortable. <laughs> so happy to be here. We're on our way. Yes, I'm so happy to be here. I can't stand it. I can't take it anymore. Second floor. Just 